The students at the FCRT are given authentic responsibility. It's up to them to look after a horse during their three years. Having a regular routine and sense of purpose helps the students gain more independence and confidence. We followed staff and students to see what really happens during a day at the FCRT. And what appeals to me here is that I've seen the horses are used in a completely different way. And so you see like the students who are here, the difficulties that they have, and you can see them start to learn things through the horse. So I've been my group of students for a year now, and when they came, they, I mean, hardly knew anything, and they had no concept of a routine, or they had no concept of how to look after themselves, or how to work in a team. And now they understand what a routine is, they can start to work together, and they've learned all of that through looking after their own individual horse here. A month I've got a routine, I stick to it. At seven o'clock, I get up. Well, I'm at my bed more. <laughs> um, I don't like getting up too early, but I have to. So I'm sort out the horses first to board myself. I got three alarms. Three? Yeah, one on my watch, one on my phone, and one on my alarm clock. Okay. So I get up, get dressed. And then we get all the horses sorted. And then you check if they got cut, bruises and see if they got four shoes and then you groom them. That's it, left the stable door open. I cried because I was like really, really shocked and really ashamed of myself and then I laughed afterwards. So I said, don't worry to me, it happens. He didn't go far. Then one o'clock, we're going for lunch. I do uh, cooking on a Friday, um, I cook dinner and lunch usually. And then at two o'clock we're back out on the yard. I do vaulting on Monday mornings mm -hmm. and I rise after lunch. Last time, my first and second year when I was riding Chinny, <laughs> Chinny went ballistic, he shot off into canter and I went flying straight over his head <laughs> and onto my back. Yep, I just got up and got back onto him. We get off, sort, um, untack them, make sure I'm okay, give them their hang net, have their feed. We've been mucking out, grooming and sweeping the yard, making it look the best for Miss Reston. And hopefully we win Yard of the Week. We did once, which was good. I do the hay, hay nets, um, grooming, sweeping. We do skipping out, mucking out, field droppings. We tack clean the best we can. Tack up a horse is ready for our lesson. Which can sometimes be difficult when you you have to be on time. Hay nets, water, field droppings, water troughs. And then whatever your task of the week is, do you do that? At horse feed time. When the horses are eager to be fed and some of them bang their doors and they have a look of expectation on their face and the students go across the yard with the feed and meet the needs of the horses who immediately in their behaviour make it very clear to the person that's given them the feed that they have met the need through their own action and students begin to see that they can be influential and that that is appreciated. In the evening, there are lots of activities on offer too. Different sessions are run for the students and sports, games, art and cookery can all continue to improve the balance, coordination and spatial awareness that they learn when working with the horses. Yes, I, I went to the cyber festival. Yeah, oh, that was good. Playing the Wii set. Dancing, <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Yeah, it's very funny. Um, I can hang out with my friend Ben. Um, reading. Um, doing art. Oh, we do sports like foot football. I love doing dancing. Yeah.